My name is Isaac Bogosh, and I'm an infectious diseases physician and scientist based out of the Toronto General Hospital and the University of Toronto. Why are we starting to see a greater number of cases of COVID-19 outside of China? This is really reflective of a greater transmission of this infection in community settings. We know it can be transmitted from person to person. We're gradually redefining this as an epidemic into a pandemic as the virus continues to spread in multiple places around the world. How confident can we be with the data that we're receiving for COVID-19 around the world? Many countries are reporting on their COVID-19 cases, and it's important to recognize that not all data is created equally. We know that certain countries have a better capacity to collect and to report data than others, and we have to be skeptical of the data that we're seeing and that we're receiving. Having said that, when we look at data from multiple countries around the world, we can start to create a bigger picture of how this virus is spread and have a better understanding of its transmission dynamics, the clinical spectrum of illness, and how it's spreading from country to country around the world. What do we know about asymptomatic transmission of this infection? There's been a lot of talk about people who might have transmitted this infection to other people who didn't have any symptoms whatsoever. The true role of asymptomatic transmission is unknown. What we do know is that many people with this infection have very mild symptoms. And that's a bit concerning in one regard because people with mild symptoms may not seek medical care and these individuals may be transmitting the infection in the community. It can be daunting sitting on the precipice of a pandemic and thinking, you know, what can I do as an individual to protect myself and to protect my family or those around me? But there are things that people can do. Number one, to make sure you're up to date on all your vaccinations, have readily available prescriptions ready, and make sure that your chronic medical needs are tended to. Certainly, this is not influenza, but the same messaging really still applies because this is a respiratory virus. That means if you're sick, stay home from work, stay home from school so you don't infect other people. And lastly, we know this is a virus that can stick to surfaces. We're not sure how long it can stick to surfaces, but we certainly know it can stick to surfaces. So impeccable hand hygiene is key.